This will be a quick introduction to API programming within the FEMAP environment. Right now I've got a model up and there's a programming window called API programming and once this is up you can see FEMAP automatically fills in the object information to talk to FEMAP. And what we're going to do here is just write a quick program that queries the model and displays any of the triangular elements. So we need to create an element object and you'll notice that the IntelliSense is filling in the information, properties about the object, things connected to FEMAP. It makes it a lot easier to have to remember all these commands. And what we'll do is here, as we're walking the elements in the model, we're going to keep account of any of the triangles. So I need a, a try count variable. We'll make it a bit long integer. And we'll just set that to zero. And then we'll just loop through all the elements in the model. Now the element object in FEMAP is derived from the standard ent entity object and there's always a next which will walk through one at a time and load the object. So now here we'll write some code. So if the elements topology, and here's all the different uh, information that you can actually get from an element object, all the different methods uh, and properties, the topology property, so if the element is equal to a, you'll notice again the IntelliSense and we're looking for a triangular three element, then you know, FEMAP automatically fills in the, the, the when on the end of a while and the end if on the end of an if. So now we'll take the try count variable and just make it try count plus one. I think what we'll also do is let's create a set. And a set in the FEMAP API is simply a, 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 a listing of ID numbers as FEMAP.set. So that dimensions the object and we now need to create it and connect it to this current session. So now I've created an empty set and every time we get one of these triangular elements in we'll put it in a set. So we'll put in return code equals try set and here's all the things we can do to set. So we just simply want to add the ID of this element into the set. Now at the end, after it's looped through everything, we're going to print out a message that says found and we'll just figure out what our count is, convert that to a string and we'll say triangular elements. And we just need to print that to the FEMAP messages and list window and connected to the application object is a FE message. Ah. There it is. Be re recording this. So we'll print out that message. And then we'll also, let's show the elements that are those colors. So there's an app.fe view show, where I just want to show elements from the triangle, from the tri set. It just needs the ID number. Now here's the neat thing on the programming environment. We can step through. Oh, look at that. It's got, I've got an error there. Development topology equals. Let's try that again. So it showed me the line that had the error on it, and I was able to correct it. And you can see it's walking through. First element wasn't a triangle. And then what I'll do is I can set a breakpoint in here and let it run, and it stops on the first triangle, increments the count, and then takes the ID. And the neat thing here, if I want to see the ID, I can type that in the watch window and actually get an idea every time it's stopping at a triangle. So it's a nice little debugging tool. You can interactively run. You can see what's going on. And I can remove the breakpoints and just let it finish. And you'll see we got our message that we found 30 triangular elements. And then it went into the view show to actually highlight them. So we can now come in the model and actually find them and see them because they are being shown with the view tool.